is the first official film Friday coming from TOT. Sorry for the late upload. These will be coming out earlier in the day in the future. Busy week, but we are talking about the Timberwolves this week. Every Friday, different team. Let me know in the comments if you want to see your team next. And if you're a Cavs fan watching this, Cavs are always on Monday. Cavs film Monday, film Fridays all around the league. But if you enjoy this, please subscribe on the road to 250. We're 11 away at the time of recording this, so let's see it. But first play here, this is all clips from the Celtics game. The T-Wolves have looked really, really good so far this season, to my surprise. I didn't think they would be as good as they've looked so far because I'm a Rudy Gobert hater through and through really despise the guy but all right let's get into the film so obviously we got four out one two three and four one in being rudy gobert so let's get into this so obviously nas reed with the ball ant's about to get it sam hauser on ant um that can't be a matchup i'm sorry it just can't be if you're the celtics and we'll cook this all day as you will see he does here but simple iso Rudy Gobert in the paint here. He does keep Porzingis contained here, so he's going to eventually come out to this space and try and give a a little more space to Anthony Edwards driving to the hoop, but let's just watch it through. This is a great finish, too, by Ant. So now we have options here. Celtics do a lot of this, which I thought was very odd, but they help a lot from the strong side, and so this shooter is wide open. But Ant is just a beast, so this shooter is wide open. Then you have a pass to Rudy Gobert in the middle for either way, because it's three guys on one. So you have the pass, or you can just be Ant and just be insane and and one. All right, clip two here. This is really, really good defense, which is why the Timberwolves have the best defensive rating in the NBA. Obviously, the Celtics score on this possession, but just look at this defense here. So you got your matchup, Rudy Gobert, classic, just lurking by the paint because he can't be on the perimeter. But we got on-ball defense by, I believe that's uh, Nikhil Alexander-Walker. So let's let this play go a little bit. Really good, just right in the chest, no hands. Then I like what the Timberwolves do here. This Jaden McDaniels is uber aggressive with Tatum, and I love the denial to not let him get this pass. So we'll keep it going here, but... Just that denial and the recovery by Nikhil is really, really good stuff. And I'm also a huge fan of fighting over these screens. But So now you got a screen from Tatum, pass out to Pritchard. Now you got Porzingis setting a down screen on the opposite side because now you have the whole floor open to you. And Jalen Brown's going to come up and shoot this. But the defense here, even by the two bigs on the other side, you got Nas and you got Rudy Gobert. So let's watch it. Fights through, hand up. Just a really tough shot. Whoa, slow down, gang. If you're liking this content here, I really appreciate it if you'd like, comment, and subscribe. It's free. It takes zero seconds. I make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to all the creators I like watching because I know it makes a huge difference for them just like it makes for us. Stick with us. TOT Faithful, we love you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out more videos. So we kind of got a weird action in the middle to try and get the defense confused. We have Nikhil with the ball up here. And now we have Ant basically doing a V-cut. I can't tell if it was across the court because the clip started early but or late. So now he pops out, grabs the ball. So now, I don't know if this was how the Celtics were defending them all night, but you have Porzingis on Jaden McDaniels, which is a matchup I would eat up if I'm the T-Wolves, which they did all night. But So now you have a ball screen, and this is just too easy for... Anthony Edwards. Now you have drop coverage on Porzingis. So Ant could shoot the hell out of this right now if he wanted to. And then you have Jaden McDaniels rolling here. And you have the open pass to Nikhil Alexander-Walker. But So now it's wide open. Pritchard played this poorly because if he's here and Porzingis is playing drop, there's no he either has to fully commit to getting onto Ant. Let me go back so it's a clearer picture for you guys. So look, he's ball watching a little bit. See, this has to be either a full commit, which is the wrong thing to do, but you can't, this is no man's land. He's not guarding either person right now. So Ant could easily just shoot this over the top, or he has the wide open pass, which is what he does. But you can't be there. You have to either stunt and get back to Nikhil, or Porzingis has to come up on this, because 
then you have your help down low with Tatum and Brown. But wide open three, cash. All right, next one, another defensive play here. Really good basket by the uh, Celtics just because their offense is so insane. But all the bodies around Jalen Brown in the paint, there's no way he can go up with that, especially with the two big lineup that the T-Wolves run at all times, basically. But instant get out by Jaden, really good defense. Um, then it gets sw swung up to the top. Now this is what I like to see from Rudy Gobert. He's coming out on Porzingis. He leaves his feet here in a second, which I don't love. If he can just put stutter his feet enough to get Porzingis not to shoot it, he won. He won that rep all day. But, you see, he leaves his feet just a little bit too much and flies a little out of control, which is what can happen with Rudy Gobert. But this is good help by Ant. He comes down. Jaden McDaniels will play this difference in between these two guys, and Nas Reed will come up and help. But it's a really good finish by Porzingis here. In a lamb one. But here's another one. The T-Wolves were getting these switches automatically all the time this clip started here so it's tough to see what action transpired but i would assume it was the screen between carl towns and anthony edwards where cat gets or drew gets switched on to cat but we have cat with the ball here i don't like this this is too clogged and i think that's an issue but we'll continue it's still a good possession now you have porzingis look at his eyes all on the ball. There's four guys there. There's no reason for your eyes to be on the ball there. But so now we got Ant coming around, and he's going to be wide open, obviously, because Porzingis is ball watching. Now, Ant should have went and instantly drove this and shot a pull up. But hey, if you're as good as Anthony Edwards is, you can do this stuff. See ya. Holy. I mean, that move is off the glass, pull up. I mean, that's really, really, really good stuff here. But let's get the next clip going here. So started off, Kyle Anderson with the ball. And I I don't, I don't, can't remember this guy's name. I'm sorry. Six, I'm just going to call you six. He's coming to set a screen, I believe. Or he's just cutting, I'm not sure. But let's see. Just cutting. So that pulls Pritchard out of the play. Really good cut. Pritchard stays attached. Cornette's watching this action to see if the pass is coming through. Rudy Gobert's lurking. Now you got guys coming up to the ball. I love this, dude. I freaking love this. This is my favorite move in all of basketball. Fake DHO. He's going to come and hit the pound dribble right at where this handoff should be, and it's going to get Jalen Brown and Sam Hauser to bite on this. It's really, really, it's one of the better plays in hoops, to be honest to me. See ya. Yep. Now you have an easy float game. Really, really good offensive set right there. But let's keep it going. All right, this is starting to get to crunch time here. This is just an unreal play by Ant. The ISO, I don't understand how every clip is him on Porzingis or Sam Hauser. It's remarkable. And later on, it's on Horford every time. The Celtics, for as good defense as they are, they switch way too easily. They just do. And I think that's what's caused them problems, especially when you play against really good teams like the T-Wolves right, are playing right now, and you have a guy like Anthony Edwards that can do it. It's tough to give these switches out. But pump fake, see you again. Really good pass. Look at all the people in here. Pump fake, drive. Now you got every single person collapsing to this paint. Wide open kick out to Jaden McDaniels for a bottoms three to put him up five, which is a big, big shot in this game. And he makes more and more throughout the game. All right. Now we're in crunch time. Three point game, down three. You got your best player with the ball, isoing on Jalen Brown. Take It's a fine matchup. You like your guy against anyone, but. See, this is what I don't understand the Celtics doing here. This, so obviously you just saw it. This, he gets, Jalen Brown gets beat. Porzingis is playing fine here. He could be, he's on the strong side, so he has to stay attached to Jaden McDaniels here. This help is Horford's responsibility and Tatum's to shift down. If anything should be open, it should be a pass once he gets here, to Carl Towns over top, and then a swing to Mike Conley. That's what the pass should be, but since Porzingis plays bad defense here, this can't be a help. Al Horford's way too low, and Porzingis comes over. 
this pass is wide open now for a really good three-point shooter. And it's just not good enough if you're the Celtics, but really good offense and decision-making by Ant here. Next one, little DHO with Rudy Gobert. Ant's coming downhill, and he's going to get a switch on Horford. See, this, this switch is fine to me. Actually, no, it's not. I'm sorry. No, it's not. Celtics, terrible defense. Sorry, this is kind of turning into the Celtics being terrible. But I was very high on the Celtics coming into this game, and they just watching through this film is really horrifying. But So now, Jalen Brown is here. He's good enough. You just have to... Sh- Horford just has to show that he's there and then drop back and let Jalen Brown recover. If anything, the help, he should play up, and this help comes from Porzingis. Because now you have Conley, who's not even on the three-point line, who's walking toward the ball. Sorry, that's a little messy. But basically, Horford should be up, or Jalen Brown should stick with it. Either one. You can't play this in-between game. And Porzingis should be dropping to the paint to play the help on the drive. That's what this play should be. Now you got a mismatch and an unreal finish. Now we're in OT here. This is just Ant going stupid. This is your this is your star backcourt going crazy. Your young backcourt just going nuts. See ya, Hezzy. Got him up. Look, look at those feet. It's hard to see, but look at those feet. They're they're a little raised here. Horford looks lost. Whoop. Oh. See ya. Didn't even get off the ground before that's in the basket. Oh my god. Now, rebound and push here. We got Ant. Slow-mo setting the screen. Again, way too easy of a switch coming. You can't... If you're the T-Wolves, good on you for continuing to do this. Because this is good coaching. This is good decision making. Even if you wanted to, right? As much as I hate Rudy Gobert, and if he doesn't shoot this, he can throw this down to Rudy Gobert on Tatum all day. Rudy Gobert, for as bad as he is, he has great size and can... I hope, finish over Jason Tatum in a one-on-one situation. But, hey, I don't know. It's Rudy Gobert at the end of the day. But, I mean, really good shot here by Anthony Edwards. Just clutch bottoms. And last play of the video, we got Jaden McDaniels isoing on Porzingis. Again, another switch that just simply cannot happen if you're the Celtics. But here we are. Game on the line. Need to stop to get a chance to tie. And it's just iso bang. See ya. I will see you tomorrow. That is a win for the T-Wolves. Man, the T-Wolves have looked really, really good so far this season. Doing this against, in my opinion, the best team in the league. Man, just really, really good stuff. And I'm excited to tune into the T-Wolves for the rest of the year. I just watched their game earlier tonight against the Spurs. And they've looked really good in that, too. Just can score at all different levels. You got the size to play the defense. You got three of the five, I believe, Highest graded defensive players, number one defense so far. Just a really, really good team, and hopefully they all stay healthy because I do want to see what the T-Wolves can do. You guys, when we did our T-Wolves-Raptors preview, we just kind of gloated about Amp, but y'all let us know that the rest of this team can be something special, and y'all were right. So I'm excited to watch T-Wolves fans get active in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this, please subscribe. Road to 250, road to 500, road to 1K. Film breakdowns every single Friday. We'll catch you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.